once MTV came, I just, I think the whole reason I was able to do the show is because I, I gave up caring about what other people thought about me. It wasn't that important to me. I didn't really care if people like were saying bad stuff behind my back because you know it's going to happen no matter what. It happens to everybody, but I mean, it just, I just was just getting over high school and just kind of like growing out of it. Like I'm ready to move on. So I, it worked out with doing the show my senior year because I was pretty much getting over the whole high school scene and all that. And I had matured from all like the drama and all that stuff. And so I just, I was able to be like more independent and just, I just stayed myself. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't alter the way I acted at all. My experience with MTV was, it was a positive one. It was completely different to me and it was just, I didn't know how to take it. And I mean, the whole time as we were filming the show, I didn't really understand that what, what was gonna happen. The whole show, I was almost in denial that this is actually gonna be put together into a show and come out on TV. And only until a couple of weeks before it airs, I'm like start thinking about, oh, this is actually coming on TV. So, but it's been a good experience, fun. I met like a lot of good people within the show, and just seeing how everything works out and how they put it all together, it's been it's been really good. And everyone involved in the show was so good to us and handled us the right way. I don't think they could have done it any better. And there's no regrets. I definitely, if I had to do it again, I would do it again. <laughs> We've always been best friends since kindergarten. It's never like, never anything less. It's just we've always did that, like, I don't know, he's always someone I'd be able to like talk to about anything. And it just, if anything, like being on the show together it brought us together even more and made us even better friends because we obviously, we were on the same page. We were both kind of like only the two, the only two guys on it besides Talon. And um, so we definitely could relate. And Trey is, um, Trey's definitely a unique, independent human being. That's what I loved about. That's what I loved the most about Trey. Is he grew up so different from everyone else than any normal kid. He's probably had one of the one of the most random experiences growing up as a kid with living so many different places that he turned out to be such a trustworthy, nice, unique guy. And he will be my best friend for life. I know that. It's just a pretty general term about whether it's kissing or a lot more than that. But um, it's just. If you're hooking up, then it means that you've obviously more than once gotten together and like, I don't know, you guys are hooking up, kissing or whatever, whatever happens. And then obviously like you both have feelings for each other. So it was just kind of a weird situation because me and Kristen obviously were together for so long and then we wind up breaking up and we were seeing other people and out of nowhere, after being friends for so long, me and Lauren wind up hooking up. And it was just one random night we happened to kiss and it was just out of nowhere. We were both like looked at each other like, whoa, like, how'd that just happen? And so from there it kind of like got us, it got me pretty like, curiously interested. So I've been friends with her for so long and like, and obviously like like her as a person and like obviously attracted to her too. It, it was just kind of like, it was just happening. And then it just kind of like went so fast. And then um, hanging out with Kristen again, I realized that I like being with Kristen so much more than I did with Lauren. So it wound up, kind of overlapping where once I started hanging out with Kristen again, I, I just kind of, I wanted things to just slow down with Lauren. Not, I just didn't want to like all of a sudden just not talk to her and be back with Kristen because that would obviously ruin this friendship that we've had for so long. One weekend where I'd hung out with Lauren one night and then I hung out with Kristen the next night. And then that night hanging out with Kristen, I realized um, like how my feelings for her and like how much I see myself so much more with her. I didn't tell Lauren right off the bat, like, look, I, I still have feelings for Kristen. I just more instead of, I just didn't have the guts to say it to her face, so I said, I thought, I, instead I thought like by my actions, I can just, hopefully she'll get the idea that it's, it's not really like, it's not going on, it's not a good idea that we, me and her were doing. The best thing to do was just to come straight forward about it and say what had happened, but I didn't do that. So it kind of, it caused a lot of commotion for a little while there. and. Uh, whether we're together or not, if she's making a fool of herself or doing stupid things, I'm, I'll be one to say something. I saw her hooking up with Sam and like I saw her like dancing on the bars and it, it more like wasn't, I mean obviously I, I was like bitter that she was hooking up with somebody else, but I mean it didn't bug me as much as like the way she was acting and how she like was, just didn't control herself at all and just was like on the bars just like nuts. I mean that's, like, we, that's what you're supposed to do down in Cabo. I just, I just like felt bad more because I care about her like besides like having such a good connection and having so many feelings for her. It just blew up kind of down there and 
I know I took it over the top and wish I didn't say some of the stuff I did, but um, it happens. Since we're so close and like we have such a good connection, it was easy for us to talk about it. And whether we're like saying bad stuff to each other and just, I don't know, just throwing bad looks to each other, we ultimately we finally get to sit down and talk about it and we always work stuff out. And that's what we want to do. We're just both kind of stubborn and both don't want to, we want to be the one where the other one's coming up to apologize. You know, we both want to like, oh, okay, I'm winning, you know. It's kind of a game between me and her always. I've had such a past with Chris and I feel like we connect so well. And I see so many qualities in me that I see in her. And she, I mean, it almost feels like she's me in a girl's body. And we, we get along so well. We've had so many different things happen to us. It just doesn't come between us. It's, it's almost like nothing can come between us. Whether it's like being with somebody else or not being together and kind of just like playing around or whatever. It's just we always ultimately wind up together. We always feel that no one's good enough. She was so different about she didn't grow up in Laguna. That's what I like because I didn't like how a lot of the girls were sheltered and they're little like spoiled rich girls and just kind of the world revolves around them. And <clears throat> Kristen wasn't really like that. She she was just a fun girl who grew up was like grew up in Colorado to to Chicago to out here in high school and I think it was just really cool for her to get that experience to move around to a few places and then settle in Laguna, such a nice place, and go to high school here. And she's not kind of being wrapped up in high school, and she's not caring about what her friends think, or not involved with all her drama with her friends. Um, I mean, I really care about Kristen a lot, and I love her. It, and so, oh, I, I can't say what would happen. I have no idea. It's such, it's such a hard call, but you never know what's going to happen. You never know where life's going to take you.